Ben Rogers. That's the latest. I'm Claire Gregory. The Jazz FM Money Minute. The stock market has ended the week down following the news that the US economy added considerably fewer jobs than had been expected. The FTSE falling more than 1%. And more indication of the tricky state of the economy today with two surveys depicting difficult times ahead. The British Chambers of Commerce slashing its forecast for growth to 0.1%. While the UK manufacturing sector turned in its worst performance for three years, according to the latest Purchasing Managers Index. Our coverage with Sky TV's digital switchover with a free HD and 3D ready Sky Plus box allowing you to store and record. There's more at sky.com forward slash digital switchover. And it's the start of one of the longest ever holiday weekends. James Hughes from the trading floor of Alpari says Great Britain PLC will definitely be affected by the Jubilee celebrations. The governor of the Bank of England did come out and say the Jubilee was going to hurt Britain from an economic point of view. That's what we're great at being British, is putting a dampener on positive things. But of course, when the economy is struggling, you need people at work. You can't have days where the whole world comes to a standstill. And the FTSE closed 60 points down at 5,260. I'm Johnny Hart. The Jazz FM Money Minute. Travels with Robbie Vincent. Jazz FM. Listening color.
Vincent, jazz travels, that means travel, and lots of good music like the Buena Vista Social Club, the Camino a la Vereda. It's week two of our guide to Cuba, and not just the music, but places to go and see as well. And my guest is a man really at the cutting edge of contemporary jazz, Roberto Fonseca. We talked about uh, travelling around the world, and you certainly had the opportunity to do that with uh, Ibrahim Ferrer's orchestra, uh, where you played more than 400 uh, concerts. Is that, is that a good pronunciation of, of his name? That's the best pronunciation that I, heard, and I never heard of him before. <laughs> it was really good. How would you how would you pronounce Ibrahim Freya? After you, it's impossible. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we in Cuba we we say Ibrahim Ferrer. Right. Yeah, with more the R, it's more strong. Ferrer. Okay, he wouldn't mind the English first. No, of course not. We, we we speak about him lovely. I mean, he will. And four hundred concerts. I mean, where on earth did you go? Well, I don't know because I we went to a lot of places. I mean, four hundred courses, That's that's a lot of concert, Yeah, it, it, it is. And, and was that? I'm just trying. To, it was in two thousand and one, so that was ten or more years ago. That I assume is a great way to learn live music and to transfer that into the studio. So, do you regard yourself? You, you're a good player, I know that, but do you regard yourself lucky having been able to tour with him like that? Let me tell you one, one, one thing. When I, before I was recording, playing with Ibrahim and uh, Cuachadito Lopez, I was like a, a young boy, a, a normal young boy that was, I didn't pay attention to the traditional Cuban music. It was a big mistake. I saw that the traditional Cuban music was music from all, all decades, you know, from decades before. Then when I I start to to play with, to record with them, I realized I was really in the wrong way on the music. I was really wrong because the traditional Cuban music is so difficult to play. It's, it's, it's not only about notes, you know. You know, in, in, for the traditional Cuban, you have to combine the rhythm with the technique, but at the same time with the knowledge that you have, you know. At the, at the moment I start to join to record with them, I was so crazy about putting a lot of notes, you know, the, because of yeah, so those kind of stuff. I'm trying to uh, bebop, up, you know, trying to to play all faster than possible, you know. But then when I start to play with them, I realized I was really wrong. That is like a, a reborn from your musically way you know, and the music things, you know. Because then I start to listen more carefully about the traditional Cuban music, and for me it was like a real, the true school to play with. It was really true school because I always I'm saying this: it's not the same when you are when you join a group to make money or to make to be too safe or to to self full or, or to try to to like a business, you know. I was so lucky. Because I was like, uh, if I can say that, I was like uh, the last student of the truly traditional Cuban music school, you know. Watching play Ruben Gonzalez, watching play Chaka Cachaito Lopez, watching singing uh, Compay, or watching even Ibrahim Ferrer and the Mara Putondo, living all those moments, I was like uh, living that time when the traditional Cuban music was created, you know. And then I was learning how and why they play like that. That's another thing to play a group just for business, you know what I'm saying? When you share moments, bad, good moments, or, or happy things, sadness, you realize why they play like that. And what I was so lucky to meet Ibrahim, to have the support of Ibrahim Ferrer, that he was, he trusted me, he pushed me to, to be like, like, like the musician that I am. He always say, never forget where you come from. You are a Cuban piano player. You never forget your roots. For those who don't know the great Cuban players, Ibrahim and the group of people you mentioned, that's just the best, the cream. I mean, that's that's a part of the cream because we have a lot of great musicians like uh, we, so we was a uh, uh, Benny Moret, well, he passed away already many times ago, but was we have a, an incredible musician in Cuba.
Ruben Gonzalez, one of the key members of the Buena Vista Social Club and Cumbanchero, and another of the great musical legends of Cuba after the break. Jazz FM. With the latest traffic and travel news when you need it, seven days a week. In partnership with Rail Easy. I'm Nick Arkell with the latest Jazz FM travel. Through Burton area, the A38 southbound is completely closed from the Branton Interchange heading down towards Barton under Needwood. Uh, heading near to Burton through Staffordshire, a southbound closure of the A38 because of the accident that happened at around quarter to six. The A113, which is on the road through A Bridge area of S6, sits closed because of a serious accident in between the Passing Foot Bridge roundabout and the A Bridge Village Hall junction. The M25 anti Clockwise is affected by barrier repairs still between junction 16 and 15. One lane is closed, although traffic is coping well. On the M4 London bound through Berkshire, one lane is closed because of an accident, junction 14 through to 13 with a queue on the approach. And Thomas Lewis Way through Swatheling in Southampton is closed because of an accident and emergency repairs. If you can update me, please, 0500 59 27 27. Jazz FM traffic and travel with Rail Easy. Avoid the traffic with cheap and easy to book trains at raileasy.com. Jazz FM. Listening colour. Introducing the Simply MS range. Over 500 of your shopping list favourites, now at prices you'll love. So whether it's a box of cereal, a bag of potatoes, or a carton of juice, they won't cost a packet. Simply MS. MS quality, simply priced. It's as simple as that. Subject to availability. Selected stores. Jazz FM. Welcome to the weekend with Michael Wilson in partnership with the FT Weekend and FT Weekend Magazine. This week I'll be talking to Mike Hobart, who, as usual, points us towards gigs that you can't afford to miss, and the extremely talented Clara Ponty, one of Britain's up and coming jazz musicians. Welcome to the weekend with the FT Weekend and FT Weekend Magazine. Smart but casual. This and every Friday from 5.30pm only on Jazz FM. Meet Foodie Phil. Crystalline structure has a slightly lower melting point than tempered chocolate crystals, so if while cooling... Luckily, he also eats, drinks and sleeps Skodas and can service yours for an easy-to-swallow £129. But if you bump into him, just don't ask him what he'd cook on MasterChef. Confit with a poppy seed ice cream and a friture of leeks and wasabi. Skoda fixed price servicing. People and prices... Well worth knowing. To find your local Skoda retailer, visit skoda.co.uk slash national pricing. Offer is available on Skoda vehicles aged three years and over. Paul, a terrific performance today. You must be over the moon to have made the UEFA finals. Some huge games coming up. Tell me, how hard did you work to get here? Uh, not much, Brian. All I had to do was pick up a promotional pack of Castrol. Went online and won tickets. Dead easy. For great car performance and the chance to win tickets for Euro 2012, plus thousands of other prizes, top up your oil today with Castrol. Castrol. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. Available in leading supermarkets, garages and DIY stores. Visit winwith.castrol.com for terms and conditions. Offer ends September 30th. Picture this. You are cruising towards pure paradise. You are lapping up the luxury and the champagne. You are loving the red carpet treatment. Others are green with envy. And with a seven-night Mediterranean cruise holiday from 599, you are now wishing you were really there. With many exclusive benefits, wherever your perfect place may be, Virgin Holidays Cruises can put you there. Just another way Rockstar Service gives you more. Visit virginholidayscruises.co.uk for details or go in store. We are Virgin Holidays Cruises. Limited availability. Booking fee and conditions may apply. At all protected. Why not follow Dinner Jazz with the Late Lounge? Tonight from 10, only on Jazz FM, for sublimely chilled out music. Your eyes may be old, but the story I told is your heart is as black as night. Jazz FM. <laughs> Discover the music. La bomba. 
Vincent, jazz travels, that means travel and good music, Ibrahim Ferrer and K. Bueno Baila Usted. Our guest is Roberto Fonseca, and as you uh, may have heard, he played with the Buena Vista Social Club, which was really important, he says, to his musical development. Why did Ibrahim choose you for the Buena Vista? Before, because when Ibrahim saw me, he knew it, that I wasn't there for the business. I wasn't there for, for to learn how to play the duration of Cuban music. I was there to to learn from them much that I can learn from them, you know. He was he watched me that I was treat the music treating the music in the most sincere way, you know. I was honest with music. And uh I was really open mind with, with all the, the things that he told me. So when when you see a person he really pay attention to you and he and he, I never showed that I, I, I was really a good piano player, nothing like that, you know. Where did you see you playing then? So yeah, I was, was on, the, on the recording. I mean, for me, it was a really strong and really big test, you know what I'm saying? So he, you were in a studio and you were recording and he saw you playing and he felt that you could add something to his orchestra. Yeah, the, or the whole crew, especially Nick Gold, it was the producer of all those albums. And he saw Nick Gold's song that, saw that, I, that I have something different to say. The Buena Vista Social Club were, when we talked about international recognition, they actually got international recognition didn't they yeah, yeah, that's a good definitely. did that surprise you please you what, what did you feel i mean that at the moment they start to, to get really known the world i was really surprised you know because i mean on, on that time i was playing another thing i was, I was more involved into the jazz or soul or pop music and then when I was really known i was really surprised but then i was really happy because that's our music. That's really our music from Cuba. The traditional Cuban music is from Cuba. It's our roots. Then I was really happy because sometimes you there are some groups show music from a country that's that's not really is from the country. You know, there there was, there was really good musician, amazing singer like uh, Ibrahim, like uh, Omara, like Elia de Ochoa. And I was, I'm, I'm still really happy what they did with the, the Cuban music. That's really important because they put Cuba again on the really high level of music things. I'm 
That was uh, Babisa, and we have you on keyboard playing up against a collection of instruments. Tell us about those. It sounds like a guitar to me, but it's more than that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's more than that. I mean, that's a, an amazing piece, or, I mean, an amazing sound, sound from, from Babasi Soko. It's called Babisa. And it was really, uh, was really interesting because he brings into the studio uh, at that moment. So we didn't rehearse that song before. I didn't know that song before. And he told me, oh, I have a, I have a song. Listen, if you like it. When I heard, it was, was amazing for me. You know? And then we were thinking about to make it the bridge you know, between Cuba and the old the African uh, instrument. And Baba played the Ngoni. And then we called to uh, a really good guy, amazing Kora player, Seku Kujate from Guinea. So when we was playing, uh, we realized that was we have a really good uh, ambient there. And then we were still trying to, to, to give the space to each instrument to make the presence of, of each culture on that piece, you know. Uh, that's why you heard uh, the Kora the and then the Ngoni and me playing like a question and answers, you know, that's, that was really good. I'm, I'm really lucky to have the, and the voice was of Fatumata Diawara, that, that she has an amazing voice. I mean, for me, that, that song is really, really, really good and really spiritual song. And it's an example of the musicians and the singers that you were talking about earlier on that you wanted on your album. They might not be international big stars, uh, but they're great singers and great definitely, players. Definitely. That's what I was talking about. I mean, there was, there are no, maybe they are not so uh, famous like others, but they have a really unique way to play it. So that, that's the more important for me. Robbie Vincent, Jazz Travels, Roberto Fonseca, and from one great Cuban player to another, but this is somebody who couldn't stay in Cuba. We'll be talking to Alfredo Rodriguez after the break. Jazz FM. With the latest traffic and travel news when you need it, seven days a week. In partnership with Rail Easy. I'm Nick Arkell with the latest Jazz FM travel. Through Burton area, the A38 southbound is completely closed from the Branston Interchange heading down towards Barton under Needwood. Uh, heading near to Burton through Staffordshire, a southbound closure of the A38 because of the accident that happened at around quarter to six. The A113, which is on the road through A Bridge area of S6, sits closed because of a serious accident in between the Passing Foot Bridge roundabout and the A Bridge Village Hall Junction. The M25 and Anti-clockwise is affected by barrier repair still between junction 16 and 15. One lane is closed, although traffic is coping well. On the M4 London bound through Berkshire, one lane is closed because of an accident. Junction 14 through to 13 with a queue on the approach. And Thomas Lewis Way through Swathling in Southampton is closed because of an accident and emergency repairs. If you can update me, please, 0500 59 27 27. Jazz FM traffic and travel with Rail Easy. Arrive home or at work, even at a gig on time. Book easily and cheaply through raileasy.com. Jazz FM, listening colour. Introducing the Simply M&S range. Over 500 of your shopping list favourites, now at prices you'll love. From meat and fish to fruit and veg. So much more for less than you'd think. Simply M&S. M&S quality, simply priced. It's as simple as that. Subject to availability. Selected stores. Jazz FM. Jazz FM. This is Jules Holland, and I'm proud to be patron of music at Boysdale Canary Wharf, the latest wonderful live music venue in London. Check out our website for the forthcoming live jazz, blues and soul, which we'll be having on. Enjoy a fantastic meal in our gorgeous restaurant. Our Michelin star trained head chef, Andy Rose, has created a menu using the very best of British ingredients, with two course menus starting at 1975, as well as a great bar menu with fabulous burgers. Or try out the caviar and oyster bar. Plus, there's live jazz, blues and soul every night. Boysdale of Canary Wharf. Book tickets from just £5 online at boysdale.co.uk. You know your business inside out. But sometimes a fresh perspective can spark new thinking. At Lloyd's TSB, we've introduced business mentors who have specialist experience in areas ranging from international trade to marketing. They will dedicate time to you Share their knowledge and experience, and discuss your plans for the future. Because a fresh perspective could unlock the potential in your business. 
To find out how you can benefit from confidential help you can trust, go to lloydstsb.com forward slash mentoring. Lloyd's TSB. For the journey. Picture this. You are lying on the palm underneath a palm. You're enjoying a desert jeep safari as the Dubai sun sets. You are standing at the top of a massive water slide, but sort of wish you weren't. And with June prices to Dubai from 549, you are now wishing you were really there. With Virgin Holidays, wherever your perfect place may be, our in-resort concierge can put you there. Just another way Rockstar Service gives you more. Go online or in-store. We are Virgin Holidays. Booking fee and conditions may apply at all protected. Imagine you're a kayaker in the London 2012 Olympic Games. Steve Ryder, sports presenter. You must slalom between the poles, but just as you're about to start, you realise there are no poles. You have no paddle. You have no kayak. It's cold. Not to worry, this won't happen, because UPS is handling the logistics. Now go and dry off. UPS, official logistics supporter of the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Visit ups.com slash London 2012. Jazz FM.
Jazz and Jazz Travels on Jazz FM Travel and Good Music, Alfredo Rodriguez and Ibalera La Negra from the album Sounds of Space. This man is so good, Quincy Jones, yet the great Quincy Jones came out of retirement to produce his album and Mike Vitti caught up with him at the Cape Town Jazz Festival and asked Alfredo about his influences. If I were born uh, the 50s, you know, I should have this, the same influences because we're African influences, uh, European influences because I, I study a lot of the classical music, classical composers. And and also the indigenous, the indigenous influences that we had, you know, back in Cuba, and I think you know that 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 is all. And uh, jazz is coming from that influences every, you know, kind of everything, you know, European European influences, African music, and indigenous music is 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 what it's all about in my music. It's just like it's a different point of view, a different way to see it. And uh, you know, I am 26 years old, so I am I am just doing what I feel I should. I think with um, jazz music sometimes you know it can be um, accused of being old mm. and elitist mm-hmm. um, it can uh, it can be accused of of not moving forward yeah. and people that listen to it can sometimes be accused of not allowing it to move forward uh-huh. so I think it's really exciting to see an artist like yourself who is playing a more a more standard style of jazz but in a very contemporary fashion does that make sense yeah definitely makes sense it's, it's what I told you I am living today and I was born 20 something years ago so I am I am living a different different moment and uh I do really think like technology is the only way that we are going to make this world happen in the, in the, in a few years. So I'm you know very 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 into that, very into different influences like what which I think my influence is not just coming from music. Also I think my influences are coming from everything, you know, from speaking to you, from everything, you know, I just learn everything from movements for whatever. So yeah, I think that is what I am trying to keep, you know, like living uh, my life in that way, you know, like trying to learn as much as I can because my music is influenced by that, so... And um, and you mentioned earlier on in the press conference, I mean, you've defected from Cuba, yeah. which I find really interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, now you're living in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, at some point, Cuba's borders will come down. Will mm-hmm. that mean that you can go home then? Mm-hmm. Well, um... Uh, Actually, uh, I am completely sure it's going to change, and I am, pre- I am pretty sure it's going to be very soon. Uh, the question is what is really going to happen, because sometimes when, when countries like, like my country uh, go different, so, you know, like so fast, like I think it's going to happen, because, uh, you know, we have been in the same kind of political situation for a lot of years, and I think when if that change is gonna change, it's not gonna stay in the in the same, you know. So, but what is really interesting and not really, you know, happy is like sometimes when that happens, uh, it's going worse at the first time, and after it's gonna be supposedly, you know, like developing the country. But you know, we have we have a situation which which is interesting because we have a lot of great things back in Cuba. It's just like we have a lot of problems too, as a lot of countries, you know, and uh, one of the problems that, that we have is like the confrontation, you know, like the... We, sh- we have a big sharing problem over there that we cannot share who we are. So that was kind of the main reason that I that I went, you know, I went to the United States. Because I think the, re- the rest of the world, I mean, I mean, you talk about change. I mean, we're stood in Cape Town, yeah. one of the most beautiful cities in the world, you know, in a country that has changed completely in the last 22 years. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I think with Cuba, there is a real, I mean, certainly from Europe anyway, I, you know, I live in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Um, there's a real sense of people wanting to find out what's going on there. Uh-huh. And increasingly, the tourist market is opening up. There's a lot of people from the UK traveling to Cuba on holiday now uh-huh. and doing like a two centre thing so you go and lie on a beach for a week and then you go up north and spend a week in Havana mm-hmm. you know and the photographs come back and it all looks very fantastic and still in the 1950s with the old yeah. cars and I think I would worry that that's going to change and end up with a McDonald's on every corner that is my big concern that is my big concern about about, about Cuba is that I really want to keep that alive and I, you know, I, I think all, you know, I, that, is a, that is a question for all the Cubans. We have to fight for that. 
and very to, hard to keep it real to keep it real to keep who we are and it's true that we have a lot of problems we need to fight those problems we you know i don't want my country to be like any country in the world i don't want you know mcdonald's in my country why you know like it's not good food it's not you know it's not anything so why we should be in that way too well you know we have to fight you know like against that definitely we you know i don't i don't want that you know to happen to my country and i know that you know once once queue are open to to every country and all the commercial people are going there it's got to change so it's so it's kind of sad that get too. that quick yeah <laughs> and that's the other problem it's gonna be really quick so listen thank you very much for talking to us today not just about music but about your heritage and your country as well um and i know that jazz fm listeners are fascinated with you at the moment uh, they love your album which is great news and let's hope there's more of it thank you thank you so much for having me
after our musical trip to Cuba, we're going to Houston, Texas. Really, really another man at the cutting edge of contemporary jazz, Robert Glasper. That's his I oh yeah from his current album. We'll be talking to him next week on Jazz Travels. After the news, Helen Mayhew and Dinner Jazz. Jazz Shapers on Jazz FM with Mish Gondorea. On tomorrow's Jazz Shapers, not only do you get an hour of music from the Shapers of Jazz, Soul and Blues, but also... Con-